excellence, I think, network. Yeah, sure. Mm. Uh, now, finally, he has accepted to sell at 170. That, that uh, he will sell at 170. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? When will he start milling uh, He hasn't yet been given means. Uh, he traveled to Sowezi to get his uh, offer letter so that he can be given where he can get this means. But when he came to Sowezi, uh, it's like, uh, again, that offer letter has been blocked because of uh, that information that uh, the government received uh, that this person is in receivership. Okay. Yes, Your Excellency. Let, let me find out what's happening here. Yes, please. Yeah, I think this person, he since tell, I... St he must tell the truth, eh? I will send even the way he has been speaking. But Your Excellency, this is a person, I think, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how people are. This is a person I have known, is older than me. Um, the way he has been operating his business is okay, uh, from a Christian on. background. Uh, so I don't know. Minister, Minister, hold on. Hold yes, on, Minister. Uh, Mr. Hamedo, I have the minister for North, uh, North Western Province. Yes, the minister is uh, <clears throat> saying that company is not in receivership. That company ran out of maize. It's a very simple thing. Everybody, including villagers, millers, saw the maize in the Congo through Kiposhi. So they've run out of maize. Yes, they made a mistake. It was all illegal exports, to be honest. There were no payments involved, because even ground nuts, everything they were selling there. So the problem we have is, uh, as we all knew, it is mainly Congo, right? So, and the porous borders. The minister is telling me now they've opened more routes there in northwestern province going into Congo. Minister, you are listening. I'm listening, Your Excellency. Yeah, now, um, I asked the minister, when I got the in intel from Northwestern about uh, the receivership of that company, uh, it's my officers who informed me, um, because I was finding out what the problem was, why the people in Chavuma, Zambezi, Kabompo, Nyinga, Mufumbo were going to Solwezi for minimum, putting the, pushing demand high in Solwezi. So I was told this company, has no maize. They saw their maize in Kipushi by December last year. So they are not in receivership. So I need this information to be cleared immediately so that we give this fellow the maize, if it's true, is not in receivership, as uh, my information gotten. And they start mailing so that we block off the demand from Chavuma, Gambezi, Kabompo, Manyinga, and Mufumbe into Solwezi which is creating pressure for the pricing of it to go up. The minister is here, the minister for, uh, for, 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 for Northwestern. So uh, we need to check now that information about receivership. Who generated that information? Right? Uh, I'm doing fine. Um, how are you? Yes. 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 With you since inception. Oh. Hello? Let's, uh, let's have a conversation. Let's have a discussion. Let him finish. Then you come in. Let's have a conversation. Okay. Let's have a decent conversation. If he's talking, you're talking. He's to you are talking, he's talking. Uh -uh. Okay. I'm sharing. You wait for him to finish. Thank you, Your Excellency. Sorry for that. Go ahead. Yeah, Mm -hmm. So what I was told was that this 
Minister, you can respond. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, Minister, be brief, please, so that uh, we we take an, uh, you guys take an action based on informed positions. Um, thank you very much, Chair. Uh, I'm not aware of him being in receivership because I'm from Maninga, and right now I'm in Maninga. Uh, I visited his area. Uh, this person, according to the wife, uh, they are saying they stopped the milling on, in April because of uh, the commodity, not that uh, they are in receivership. Secondly, last time I called you, if you told me that he is in receivership, uh, it would have been understood. But last time, you yourself, uh, board chairperson, you told me that this person is exporting mails to Angola which I intervened. Now that being him in receivership, it is a latest to me, because I know that this is a prominent businessman here in Maninga, and I've seen him supplying to local markets. Then they take back money to him. He has been giving just me. me. That is what I know. However, uh, let, as you have suggested, let us try him with the just a small metric tons uh, to see how he's going to perform. And I will be monitoring him since I'm in the province. Just to help uh, 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 Mr. Hamweza, the provincial minister is an M is the MP for Maninga. He lives in Maninga. Exactly. So he knows this person. So if there's anybody who will know and first hand, if he didn't know, for example, what I did myself, which is my management style, different from you chaps eh, at FRA. Immediately I got that information. I called the minister to avoid confusion. I called the minister. I said, Minister, check. He went to check. He went at the plant. That plant is able to operate. That's the way we should work. Instead of hearsay, reports here and there, someone doesn't want another person to get the maze so that they can get the maze and take to Congo. Exactly. That is, that's what's happening. So you call each other. We are one team. You... FRIA, provincial minister, agriculture minister, president, everybody, we are one team. We must work as one team. So that's what I did myself. I called the minister. I said, go and check. Luckily, the minister was in Manjinga. He went there physically. There's no receiver there. I'm still in Manjinga, Your Excellency. Right now, I'm still in Manjinga. I've not yet traveled to Solis. Oh, the guy who gave you that information, call him bluff and bring him to book as, as FRA, including your officers. It means your officers have a vested interest in the maze there. All right, sir. We'll take a look. Yeah, but why can't you guys practice an open management style? Me, I call people. I put people together. I resolve problems there and then, like I've done now. Why don't you do the same? Yeah, but the, the easiest thing to do is to do a trepidate call like I'm doing now. You as a person on the spot, you could just suggest that, Minister, why don't you call the Minister Northwestern and I, three of us, will, be, will have a conversation. You don't even need a meeting in today's world. You just need to link up the way I've done myself. And you call each other, you clear you act based on information. And the same for you, Minister. You are not some slowness there. Call people around, like I have done myself. And you clear things immediately, and we move, guys. That's how we should run this country. Your Excellency, the board chairperson is there. I've been constantly, constantly calling him, convinced him on the export of men's this company to Angola.
After convincing him that is a new story again I've heard that he's in receivership. He's hearing me. I've been constantly calling him. Uh, I've told him what the vice president told me to go around the, the millers and find out those who are going to offer us at a good price. And this is one of the millers who offered to give us the government price. He's there. He's listening. I don't, I don't just stay. I call everyone. I call FRA. I call chief executive officer. Even in my officers here at the FRA, I go around with them. When I hear that the men's is going bad, bad in Mwenyulunga, in Chipwika there, no matter how the road is bad, I go and check because I know that the government has put in money here. That is what I do, Your Excellency. No, thank you, Minister. So now, uh, FRA chair, you have heard the message. It just takes a call. It takes a call and it delays loss of time. It reduces loss of time. It's just a call, a phone call. It doesn't cost much. So can you now proceed? Give those guys what you propose. Um, the guys are in Solways. They've been blocked from collecting the maize. Can you clear that? So that they collect the maize from Solways there. Don't send them to Minilunga because there's a crisis in Chavuma, Zambezi, Kabompo, Manyinga and Mufumbe. That is the place they get mail with. Because if you block those guys, they don't mail there. It means the pressure will be on Solwezi now. And that also increases the cost of the mailman. Can you phone the people in Solwezi to give him that 350 metric tons? Yeah, you know, you guys, it's easy to run things. But if if you don't manage things in an easy and straightforward manner, there's dark corner issues, you find yourselves in problems. It's simple. You give me any information, I pick up the phone, I call people, I call the other person, we create there and then. What is difficult with that? I'm asking you, FRA colleague, what's no, difficult no, 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 with that? Can you phone now, so with Minister? Your Excellency, I'm listening. Can you call the guy there? to collect his maize from Solwezi. But he must bring the maize here in Manyinga. Take it to Manyinga and mill it. He should not take it to Kipushi. If he takes to Kipushi, he will be arrested immediately. My suggestion is that, uh, Your Excellency, I don't know if it can be accepted. Why can't he get this Miu Miu? Because the Solwezi there is near Kipushi. Because I'll be able to monitor, even today I can still remain in Maninga. Why can't he get his men's since we still have, in Kabompo we still have, in Maninga we still have men's? Yeah, there you are. Why don't you give him the men's in, in Maninga? There, right in Maninga. FRA. Yeah, no So you have men's in Maninga? We have men's in Maninga, we have men's in Kabompo, we have plenty of men's in Zambezi. Chavuma, so, we have plenty of men's in Chavuma. All these areas, Your Excellency, I monitor our commodity. I have gone around the, 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 the province to monitor the commodity, to see where it is. The only area where we don't have men's currently now is Mufumbu. But in Maninga, we still have there are trucks which, who are go, which are collecting men's here, Zambezi, Chavuma, Mwenyunga still plenty. And where are they taking the maize? They are taking now to Copper Belt. Because ah. Copper Belt have run short of uh, maize. Give, give that meal the maize in Maninga, please. Can we, can we be serious? Huh? Why are you guys giving me headaches for nothing? Hamwezi, Hamwezi, that one is my cousin. He's just a problem. I've been talking to him. He doesn't understand. Ah. Why are you a problem? The minister is telling why are you a problem. It's common sense. If there is in, in Makawombo, give that meal so that today they start meeting. Today they must start meeting. Today. I'm saying it for the third time. Today they must start meeting there. Your Excellency, another thing, just FRA. After I talked mm. to uh, Hamwezi, they even called Maninga to say that the minister does not talk on behalf of your, your mirror. You see, they wanted to incite me in things that have been emphasizing that give them new me. So, that, so they were just avoiding to find faults on that mirror so that he's not given new me. 
I'm coming yeah. out in open like that because they've been pushing me in pressure. Then this, this mirror called me that, I've been called by FRA that uh, you, they don't hear your voice to talk on behalf of this Maninga mirrors. You yeah, see now, you. where are these people have been putting me? Mr. Ambuesa, the minister doesn't have to plead. You must do the job. You must do the right job. And checking whether there's a receivership or not is a 10 minutes exercise. You get your, your chap up from the shed there to walk to the mill, and they'll, they'll be given an answer within five minutes. Release the maize now in, the, in Manyinga there so that they start milling. How do you think the people of Northwestern Province feel that there is maize which they grew there in the FRPC and they are not accessing the maize for their food and the maize is going to cover them? How do you think they feel? Okay, okay, colleagues, let's move. Time is not on our side. So, uh, Minister, can you call back the guy in Maninga there, in the ways to come to Maninga? All right. No, I'm calling him immediately. He's, he receives, what? I'll call him immediately to come back to uh, Maninga and collect the names, Your Excellency. I'll do as instructed. Well, I'm not an instructor. I'm just the uh, one unlocking problems. The, the, the <laughs> Thank you very much for unlocking this problem again in our area. Though I also tried to unlock in Solvays, now finally, instead of people moving all the way from Chavuma, Zambez, Gabompo, Maninga to Solvays, at least if this mirror starts and uh, I'll make sure that I'm on time, sells the commodity to these places at an affordable price. So can we now confirm in another one hour, uh, I need a report back from you, Mr. Ambueza. I need a report back from you, the minister, that the milling has started there. Your Excellency, uh, I will do that. In one hour, I will also confirm with my colleague if he has received anything. And Mr. Ambueza, call your guys to ensure the documentation is not the reason the maze is not availed now. Yes. And Minister, is there no meal in Zambezi? There is nothing, Your Excellency. In Chavuma? There is nothing. There is only one in Maninga, that's all. You, Kaluvales, why don't you invest in, in, in simple things like that? Instead of investing in Brussels, you know, lodges where you're just Brussels and, uh, and shaking people's bums, eh? <laughs> your, ex your Excellency, uh, you know it's uh, very expensive to have this, uh, uh, this, this uh, machine, these uh, machines. Our colleague had this one because he was working with the FRA, transporting the the mains uh, for several years. Uh, that's how he accumulated this money and and bought this machine. Get it. Small milling, milling companies, a eh, Chigayo, a eh, Amami plus a eh, eh, Hala, the Hala. That's all you need so that each town should have at least a, a, you know, a meal, a Kelvin. Why don't we look into this matter? CEC is there. Chavuma must have a small meal. Zambezi must have a small meal so that we're not moving maize up and down. The mm. price goes. Mm. The price, the meal goes up. So we have a small mill in uh, in Jakuba, a small mill in in in, in Zambezi, in Kavompo, Manyinga, Mufungwe, and then Kasempa, and then every little every town, every district. This week on that. Your Excellency, thank you for your intervention. This problem wouldn't have been there if the FRA um, were doing the right things, because the FRA has not been releasing means. How can I, we stabilize the price if FRI are not releasing means? This problem has been created by FRI. Is there the body chairman? Hang on, hang on. I agree with you, but also the problems created by you chaps selling even the food you have to keep with you. <laughs> right? Yes, yes, Your Excellency. He told me 
uh, Kelvin, that the the millers and even villagers were taking grounds and and candolo to keep pushing to sell to come everything. Even cassava leaves, your excellence, cassava leaves, Dele, uh, Congo bought the buy everything they were taking. Uh, leading Africans is a big problem. Eh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How to deal with any, how to deal with, uh, you know, um, uh, electric vehicles, how to deal with, uh, you know, water harvest. That's where my brain should go. Not just, not solving cassava leaves problems. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's how your relatives are, Your Excellency, here in Northwestern Province. You guys are the FRA, you are a mess. You guys in the, in the citizens of Zambia, Northwest, you are a mess. You can't sell everything. Go to Tongaland there. Have you heard noise in the Tongaland there? Huh? Because they have maize banks there. They keep maize for themselves first before they sell. We have to what? emulate from that. What is it, What is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Thank you very much.